It all started in Zoe's living room. Lately, she'd been feeling like something was missing. Everything was so... uncomfortably comfortable. Go explore the world, her friend Ed told her. There she was, 5,834 miles away from home. Everything was new and exciting. The smells, the sounds, the sights. Man, she felt alive. Everything felt perfect. Until that night, in her hotel lobby. She got completely distracted by a strange lady laughing at her plant's jokes. Which is why she didn't even notice her phone had missed her bag. Anyways, she did notice Paul, though, and noticed that he also definitely noticed her. Paul was relishing the rush from this eye contact when he trod on something. He couldn't believe his luck when he recognized the cute girl from the elevator on the screensaver. He set off to go get her, but 24 floors was mission impossible. Distraught she had lost her phone and lifeline, Zoe went to the hotel bar to drown her sorrows. Plus, it made her feel like a film noir femme fatale or something. That's when she had her epiphany. She was going to live in the here and now. Enough with the selfies. She was finally biting into life like an apple, which for once wasn't on the back of a famous smartphone. Meanwhile, Paul was about to give up on Zoe when he finally found her in reception. Or thought he had. Turns out it was just a lookalike who had luckily met Zoe the day before and knew where she had gone. Paris! First thing Paul did when he got to the chic Parisian hotel was to order a Shirley Temple to help him chill out. But Zoe had gone. Paul was gutted and melancholic, which is why he decided to go for an uplifting swim. Zoe was practicing her dive at the pool nearby until something unfortunate happened. A dirty martini by the pool can be dangerous. Thankfully, she knew the Heimlich maneuver, which dislodged the offending olive. Paul could not believe his eyes. It had to be fate. And for Zoe, it felt like being the heroine of some epic commercial. This time, she knew it. It was true love. But as she was in his room in the morning, she realized it was time to go home. She had too many good stories to tell. She'd miss hotel life, though. <laughs> 